we really try to co-create life here. This is a place where people come not just to exist, but to grow and to blossom and to live meaningfully in whatever season of life they find themselves. A few years ago, one of the residents, Bob, approached us one day. He had worked um, his entire life in metalworking. He felt that even though he had moved to a community, he didn't want to give up on his life's passion. And he had networked with another group of folks who lived here who had similar backgrounds. They had worked in machine shops and had that same desire to not leave that on the shelf. They simply said, what would it look like if we had a place that we could do this? So we looked around, found a spot, and gave them free reign. They designed it, we put in the necessary fireproofing, and now they're not only going there for their own reasons, but they create things that we need and also find ways to serve out into the community. And so that's one of the things we get really excited about at Garden Spot is we have people that are going into the public schools and doing tutoring programs. We have people who are going to the children's hospitals in Kenya and the Dominican Republic. It's this sense that, okay, we have had all this life experience, now's the time to live that out. We really focus on enriching lives and we have to continue to innovate in order to stay relevant in the lives of the people that we serve. We've got an incredible wood shop. Folks there just produce really fun pieces of artwork. We've got a train room, an aeroponic greenhouse, which is a way for us to not only grow fresh produce here to serve our campus, but we also provide a portion of that produce out into our larger community for the food bank. One of our underlying philosophies is that love works. If we truly love people, it's not a passive emotion, it's not a self-serving emotion, but we love out of ourselves by serving one another. Residents, team members, everybody. The connections that we as team members have with the people who live here are amazing and deep and rich and life-giving. So that sense of community, when you're walking down the hallway, that opportunity to connect with people that you genuinely care about and who care about you is truly meaningful. We have to encourage that and to support that so that we have an amazing place for people to live for years and years to come.